Okay, I'm going to do a, a short review of the uh, Snug Pack uh, Elite 3 sleeping bag. Um, I bought it from the bushcraftstore.co.uk. It cost me £69.95. Um, I bought a couple of other things as well, so they gave me a 10% discount, which was very kind of them. And the, uh, the service was uh, pretty good as well. Um, so, I wanted to go to the... Uh, the store to compare it to my current rucksack, uh, my current sleeping bag, um, because I find my current sleeping bag is a bit too narrow for me, and I like to sleep on my side or on my front. And when I sleep on my front, I like to bring my knees up. Uh, my current sleeping bag, which is a mummy shape, um, is too narrow for me to do that comfortably. So uh, I was turned on to the Snug Pack Elite 3 because uh, it features something called a expander panel system which is basically a baffle which runs down the side of the bag which you can unzip and it will open up and give you approximately 12 inches which is about 30 centimetres of uh, extra space. Um, which I tried out in store and found I could sleep comfortably on my front um, with my with my legs up um, in the, either the fetal position or in the uh, I guess the, the prone position uh, you could call it uh, and it worked fine um, it also gives you the option of zipping this baffle up if you want a tighter fit if you're in colder conditions anyway so here's a bag this is in its stuff sack um, as you can see um, it measures in the stuff sack um, uh, about 38 centimeters high by 23 centimeters above uh, across, which is a diameter. That's 15 inches by 8.5 inches. Um, it's 215 centimeters long, um, 84.6 inches um, from the, the, the top to the bottom. Um, there is a, uh, a way, if you've got kids sleeping with you, or you happen to be a midget, or uh, um, just someone of small stature, you can um, peg the bag up and under, which allows you to, uh, to get rid of the uh, dead space at the bottom of the bag. Um, it's a mummy bag, it's warmed down to uh, minus 5 degrees centigrade, 23 degrees Fahrenheit, that's a comfort level, um, and an extreme down to minus 10, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it weighs 1440 grams, which is uh, 3.15 pounds, which isn't a lot, it easily fits in my, uh, my rucksack um, and doesn't take up as much space as I imagined it might. Um, you can keep it in your stuff sack, in your rucksack, or you can just, if you're out and about and you can't be bothered to put it in your stuff sack, just whack it in your uh, in your rucksack and put your kit in around it. Um, I uh, believe this is used by uh, the uh, UK Armed Forces. Uh, they A lot of them ditch their uh, standard bags. Um, obviously... Uh, when I was in the special forces, I uh, I used this because it was top of the range bag. Um, till obviously I broke my arm on a special op, which I can't talk about. Um, say no more. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's manufactured in China, which you might think is something going against it. Um, but from what I've heard back from people, it's a uh, it's a strong bag, It's the, st the specifications are high, um, it puts up with a lot of abuse and uh, is fully recommended um, and seems to be the kit of choice from uh, the British Army uh, on ops around the, around the world. Anyway, uh, that's the end of my review. Uh, any questions, uh, drop me a line. Thanks.